Hi guys, today we're going to be talking about non-governmental organizations, so NGOs, and specifically the Amnesty International. But first I want to talk about the definition of NGOs. Um, they are, while they don't have any fixed or formal definition, they usually consist of nonprofits and work internationally. They are independent of government influences, although sometimes they may have government funding. Activities include, but are not limited to, environmental work, social advocacy, and human rights work. They can often promote social change or political change at a local or at a broader scale levels. Um, NGOs play a critical role in improving societies and communities, as well as promoting citizen participation. The NGO I want to talk about and focus on today is Amnesty International. Like I said before, um, all of the information that I will be using in this video is coming directly from their website, amnestyinternational.org or amnesty.org. Um, as they are, they are a NGO that campaigns as a global movement of more than 7 million people in over 150 countries and territories who campaigned to end the abuses of human rights. Since 1961, they have been helping people across the world and they work on things from the death penalty to free speech and protection of human rights. They are funded by people just like us. Um, they are independent of any political ideology, economic interest, or religion as they believe there is no government beyond scrutiny and no situation beyond hope. They mobilize by printing articles and voicing people's opinions and telling the stories of these abuses. And by doing so, they campaign for change and bring about social change by influencing and showing people shedding light to these abuses and making people see that things can be changed. Basically, they bring about change by bringing facts to the people. They have experts that accurately cross-check research into human rights violations by governments and others worldwide. Then they use analysts and to influence and press governments, companies, and decision makers to do the right thing. Through that, and petitions, letters, protests, campaigners, uh, the action of the people, that's what makes change happen. But they do that with the facts given to them. They have many different groups or subgroups on their What We Do page, including armed conflict, arms control, climate change, corporate accountability, disappearances, discrimination, indigenous people, freedom of expression, international justice, living in dignity, detentions, and even the death penalty. And those aren't even all of it. They have so much more that they cover and promote these abuses so people understand and see what's happening in the world. All these different subjects for anyone, any topic that you're interested in. Specifically, uh, right now, I want to talk about their page that they list their epic human rights movements that they accomplished in the past year. In February, Theodora del Carmen Vasquez was finally freed from jail in El Salvador when a court reduced her 30-year sentence for having a stillbirth, and they Led, this led to her conviction and her accusation because they believed that she was having an abortion, which was illegal in El Salvador. This page of epic human rights events that they have accomplished was updated in 2018, and they were have been fighting for Theodora since 2015. That is three years. And from these petitions and protests and advocacy, people saw this and brought about awareness. It's what got her released from this outrageous arrest. And Amnesty International has been continuing to advocate and campaign for the decriminalization of abortion in El Salvador and to prevent future cases future cases just like hers where women's reproductive rights are punished 
and not protected. I love what they're doing, and if you do too, you can get involved on their webpage. It has a Get Involved website link, and if you can't actually do that, they have also a donate section because it does cost money to do things. And I'm just really happy that this class, my class, has opened a new door for me to see that there are things that are, or places and organizations that are helping these people that have been abused and changing things for the better.